Libra, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Gen TV. That was very satisfying. All right, Libra. I don't know if you can hear this, but I have put on brown noise in the background. Oh my God, I love brown noise. I'm not talking like fart sounds. It's like, I don't know, it sounds like a waterfall or a rainstorm or something it's amazing but i i have to say my productivity has increased i tidied my kitchen before i got to this looks great in there i was multitasking so yeah brown noise that's what you can hear bear in mind my loves these are general readers so it's not going to resonate with all of you but if it does take a look in the description box below there's a link to my patreon if you want to watch extended videos you can also purchase them via my website gentvtarot.com or if you join my channel each has its own perks but the best price would probably be from patreon okay libra what do you need to know about love what kind of universe got for you in love I want to thank you all for the support that you've given me. I uh, had a little meltdown this week and you guys have been... I, I have no words. You picked me up and gave me a big old hug and... Uh, I don't know. Helped heal the wounds. So thank you everyone. I'm really truly grateful. of the deck yeah all right i just seen two 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 as well stop worrying everything is working out just as it's supposed to but like perfect timing almost you know trust that you're on the right path so all right there's obstacles in the way to love cups are about love and emotions feelings and uh it's in reverse so yeah there's obstacles in the way what you need to know right now not getting any sexy time at the moment yeah there's obstacles in the way to that as well so the overall vibe of the reading what the star look my love look there is still hope i want to say i want to say that you've been hurt i want to say that the things that have happened in your life kind of knocked you for six, knocked you back. You've been betrayed, you've been lied to, deceived, broken. You've been all of those things. And look, there's light at the end of the very dark tunnel that you've been in. There is hope. Things are going to get better. feel it do you feel it it's like a bubbling up of excitement like milk coming to the boil Ooh, it's gonna it's gonna happen you're on a precipice if that's the right word the edge of a cliff about to take a big old dive into the awesomeness the cause of all of this Four of Pentacles. This can be about, you know, finances, but this is a love reading. This can be about holding on to things too tightly. Being too precious. Precious. Being too possessive, being too jealous. That can be other people in your life, you know, relationships that you've had where you've been treated badly. And, uh, not allowed to have your own life, not allowed to have your own friends because you belong to them.
I just lost the card. What do you need to know right now? So we had the, uh, I've just shuffled it back in. We had the uh, Ace of Wands in reverse. So yeah, it's, it's been a little while. We've had no sexy time going on. All right, that's what happens. What do you need to know right now, Libra? I sort of want to say that if none of that resonated about jealous, possessive people, I sort of feel like maybe perhaps you've kind of held on to things a little bit too tightly. Like, say you get rejected by somebody, so you chase after them. And chase after them a little bit too much. <laughs> yep, I'm getting that terror reader tingle that that's what's going on here. It just sort of occurred to me when I put this one out. This is what you need to know right now. So whoever you've been holding on to, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want to say ow in the comments below to finish off the uh, Michael Jackson sneeze for me? What do you need to know right now? So we've got the three of cups in reverse. This is about you ain't the only person in this person's life and I think that you were being rejected by them and they're holding on too tight. The other storyline was for somebody perhaps here but I'm getting the tingles from this one. That's why the ace of wands in reverse was there. This is the person you want so you're not seeing other people. This is, you can't see anyone else. They're, they're not visible to you because the only person you can see literally visibly is them. They're there in your panorama and that's it. What do you need to know right now? You, you're, you're getting it. You're getting it. I see that you're getting it. Three of Wands there. That's your ships are coming in. The star. You're getting to the end of this very dark tunnel. <clears throat> you're getting it that this person has rejected you and you need to learn from this. You need to not hold on so tightly. And you know why you need to not hold on so tightly because that's your toxic trait. I know, you don't want to hear me tell you that you have a toxic trait. I'm not saying that you're a toxic person, a narcissist, and like, that's what people think when it, 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 it's not like that. I've got toxic traits. I'll own them. I'll own it and say, you know, I, I have <clears throat> abandonment issues. I have rejection issues. And they have hounded me and uh personally i don't feel like i've ever actually really truly been loved in my life and that's something i have to work on because i've always chosen the wrong kind of people that i've had to chase after you know people that weren't suitable for me so that's my toxic trait what's yours let me know in the comments below own it see what your toxic trait is and go, oh yes i see it i understand it let's deal with it let's deal with this together you know just means it's something that you need to heal doesn't mean it's something that you know makes you a bad person it just means that this kind of thing makes you attract bad people and until you deal with that and learn from your experiences and your patterns in your life that you keep repeating the universe is going to keep you on hold and keep you waiting
but you're getting there. You're about to get there. It's that page of pentacles. Ooh. You're about to turn a corner. This is why I'm incredibly warm. The heating is on. <laughs> uh, I'm getting little pink cheeks. Anything else you need to know right now? Oh, come on. So, anything else you need to know right now? Who are you holding on to here? Who is it? Someone who's already moved on from you. Who are you holding on to? Someone who's... Oh, yeah. That's them with their partner. And that's... This is the gods blocking you from them. You see them being happy in their life and uh, you're not part of that. Who are they? And that's them. You see that there? That's them here. Again, beauty dude, again. And that's you falling off the wheel. This is in, re in reverse. So this has been... You've held on to this and held on to this, but it's not been good for you, my love. It's been unhealthy. They've already moved on. All right. Anything else you need to know? Not, not about them. No. You are out of balance and out of harmony within yourself. So holding on to this fear of rejection, fear of abandonment, chasing after this love because you finally want somebody to accept you for the wonderful, beautiful, and kind of perfect person that you are. And it just baffles you and literally baffles me why they haven't seen that in you yet. Anyone. It's because you're chasing after the wrong people, my love. You shouldn't be chasing. This is a toxic thing that you need to heal within yourself, okay? What's coming up in the near future? Judgment in reverse. Let's have a look at that. There's judgment in reverse here. It's not as perfect and as meant to be as you think it is. So, again, this is your abandonment, rejection cycle, patterns, fears coming up. It's This is time to release that. You're looking for a committed relationship. Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. What is going on here? So, what was it? You're supposed to, like, massage this part? stop it happening does that work let me know in the comments below i heard it just what is it massaging just below your nose is that what we do have i got it right and we're totally like have i just made that up i read it somewhere just like mm. Blah, drool yeah actually you know what that tingle i had in my nose is gone mm 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 where was I? You know what, it's because I've been cleaning. Because I've been cleaning, I've stirred up the dust. I was hoovering as well. So <laughs> the dust has been like, oh God, she's doing something finally. So yeah, sneezies. 
I don't think that this person, this relationship is for you, but you have been abandoned and rejected all of your life and I'm not even joking. Like maybe you had a great relationship with your parents and uh, it was friendships or you know relationships at school but you know it could have stemmed earlier than that and you felt like you weren't loved or wanted that's not on you my love it's not that you're not lovable it's just that's their karma not yours you don't need to take it on board it's not that you're not lovable where you're saying well like it keeps happening so what's the common denominator there it's me no sorry i'm 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 gonna take those toxic thoughts and throw them away but that's not that's not how this works okay you're choosing you can't choose your parents i know but once you get past your childhood move into you're taking control of your own life who you choose you can own that one and i feel like you've been choosing people that uh i feel like they were kind of energetically drawn to you because you're amazing but then they weren't the right person for you so you know they turned their back and walked away and that made you like no please come back i think that you might have with the moon and uh the uh seven of cups in reverse here there might have been a lot of fantasy around relationships as well a fantasy of how it could be with this person who's you know totally walking away from you and uh maybe you know it's time for you to start looking realistically at relationships with people who um aren't going to trigger you. Yeah. It's kind of... <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles is about learning something new. Focusing on work, focusing on something like a hobby or, you know, things like that. But this is a love reading. So it's... it's I kind of want to say focusing on something new, focusing on uh, a new type, perhaps. Someone who's not your type. You want to go for that. Um, I've got. Where's the book? I've got it somewhere. <laughs> I'm in my tarot room, so I have my tarot books close to hand. Is it, is it in this pile? It's not. It's a she's called joan daniels i want to show you the book though there we go hang on just a sec this is a great book this is a great book read if you're into love tarot um yeah read her book joan daniels is it june spelt differently uh brilliant but she goes on about going for the type, you know, the wounded poet, the penniless musician, that kind of, why do you keep doing that to yourself? And I'm like, I'm a sucker for it. I do it myself. Why do you keep going for that? Because there's something so magical and mystical about them. What cards turn the other way? Oh well, yeah, there we go. It's time for you to focus on something new. Like, I don't know, an accountant dentist a vet nonarian that looks after animals i don't know somebody like that's completely not the wounded poet type move away from that kind of relationship 
because you know what let's look at the patterns yeah and that one as well yeah. oh yeah and then them it's a pattern isn't it you're just gonna keep repeating it and getting hurt or are we gonna learn from this and change your toxic pattern behaviors don't be offended i'm not dissing you i'm here i'm you know i'm big sis jen here i want to help you i want to be there for you and and help you move past this difficult cycle of your life so best you can hope for see it's getting better all the time you're at the end of this now this cycle you've just got to clear this person from your thoughts and your mind they're not yours you can't have them okay so get over it i know tough love tough love and i'm sorry i don't want to talk to you like that i just want to be big sis jen and help you here i just ate a vegan hot dog and a very large slice of cake vegan again i am fully vegan now and i'm getting hiccups best you can hope for three pentacles three pentacles is about teamwork yes it's about look at this person they're they're fixing a cathedral if you will now in the um right away they're in the basement they're in the the cellar or whatever they're they're at the um they're building from the bottom and working their way up the foundations of the cathedral and that's that's what this is about this is building your new foundations properly this time no more wounded poets no more penniless musicians this is about building your foundation correctly this time and going for someone who's perhaps a little bit more awakened spiritually than your usual type. You're, you're annoyed though. You're like, but I want them. This is the person I want to be with. Maybe, you know, you feel a soul connection with them. Maybe, you know, this is your twin flame. Maybe, I don't see it, but... I mean, maybe. Meh. That's a push, I could probably see it. But this is not what you wanted. I see that, I know that, I see it, I understand it. It's not what you want. <sighs> Something more. You're sad that you've lost what you wanted this is the one that got away i want to shuffle the uh, I, I thought the tower was going to come out i want to shuffle again though you're not like with the tower reverse that they just come out came out you're sort of feeling like well, i don't accept that it's done i don't accept that it's over but like i was saying you are now building something new for yourself that old tower is going to topple. This is time for you to start fresh. And that's the best that you can hope for is letting this go and starting fresh. Anything else you need to know about you right now? You're going to step away. And you're going to free yourself. Because this is your own prison you put yourself in. Yeah, this is the one that got away now. I know. I just think it's unrealistic. I don't think this person's gonna come back into your life and give you the closure that you needed, the love that you desired, the relationship that you hoped for. I don't think so. Them? Well, the high priestess. <laughs> Interesting. All right, well, tell us more about the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Hmm. 
my seeing the high priestess anywhere else because like she's here i've just like looked over and there's there she's on the on the book there all right where are you seeing the high priestess anywhere else <laughs> yeah oh there she's down there my little uh box of cards down there i've gone freaking everywhere what's the high priestess trying to tell us right now secret. You can really hear the brown noise all of a sudden. Did, it, did you guys just tune into it as well? Like, Ew. secret. They're done hurting you. They're done. We're done with that now. They're done hurting you. This is about codependent, unhealthy relationships, as is this. What's the secret though? Deja vu! I'm doing this on another timeline. What's the secret though? Tell me what the secret is. They're done hurting you. They just went up in my estimations there. I, 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 uh, I didn't think much of them until just now. I think they're gonna see your glow up and they're gonna see that maybe they made a little bit of a mistake but they're not going to, they're done hurting you. And I think they're gonna be a grown up finally and let you, let you stand in your power and let you walk away with your dignity fully intact. They're gonna do that for you. They're not gonna try and suck you back in. Um, they see that they are, um, they chose someone else over you. And they see that they chose the wrong person. But I'm kind of seeing them say, I made my bed and won't we'll lie in it. Wow. So, outcome here. Ink cups. I'm going to read this. And then I'm going to take it into extenders. I'm going to ask about this person for you. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? From what I see here, they understand that they made a mistake, but they are sticking with that mistake. Um, out of duty. Uh, out of duty and there's something else it's, it's, it's a stubbornness I wonder if this is like a, a Taurus what sign have we got I'm going to ask in the extended about the sign Maybe an Aries Leo Sagittarius though with the King of Cups here. All right, let's read the outcome here. Where's the King of Cups in the outcome? Years. So you're finally going to work on you, take a breather from relationships, take a step back, accept that there are obstacles in the way to live right now. You're going to accept that this person is not emotionally available to you or for you. 
there with someone else and as much as you offer your love to this person they are not going to accept it and I think this is you to be honest my love stepping into your power and understanding love your love and what you really want from love what do you desire how do you want it to look in the future and manifest that in and not accept anything but the best in a complete change of pattern oh hell yes oh, for the love of god wherever puts it oh there it is A personal issue reaches resolution that time and you have me now and no my baggage I've been made to feel less worthy I want to turn that around and believe in love but I don't feel good enough. I'm gonna link it up here, whichever side it is. I think it's that side. Little card there that uh, shows you. Go to the playlist of this song. This is um, this is one of my songs. So it's my playlist. I'll link it up there. A song called "Good Enough" by me. Uh, right. I'm gonna take this into extended. Thanks for joining me. See you later.